over the 10 freeway coming through the San Gabriel Valley. Fontana police in pursuit of a carjacking suspect behind the wheel of a Toyota Tacoma right there uh, near the bottom of your screen there. About 10 units chasing the suspect as they form a pretty solid traffic break uh, right behind the suspect. CHP calling the pursuit from above there and uh, a slow crawl now westbound on the 10 freeway as traffic bunches up behind this pursuit. They have set up for at least one spike strip attempt. That was a failed attempt. The vehicle managed to maneuver around that spike. Now coming up on Temple City as this pursuit makes its way now from Fontana into LA County. You can see them traveling at about 45 to 50 miles per hour, holding on to that number three lane there with, again, at least eight to 10 units from Fontana right behind this suspect, applying a little bit of pressure. Again, at least one spike attempt, uh, but the vehicle behaving pretty normally for the most part. We haven't seen uh, the driving get too erratic yet. At times, the speeds were getting up there slightly, but for the most part, the driving fairly composed behind the wheel of this stolen Toyota Tacoma traveling at about 45 miles per hour now westbound on the 10 freeway coming up on Rosemead Boulevard. No, this is uh, a pretty uh, pretty good amount of force for Fontana PD here as they continue traveling westbound on the 10 freeway. Again, you notice that really solid traffic brake not letting anybody come up alongside this pursuit. They are keeping the public at bay here, even managing to shut down some of these entrance ramps ahead of this pursuit. Again, a pursuit that started as an apparent carjacking suspect out of Fontana behind the wheel of this Toyota Tacoma. There is what appears to be CHP. I think that was the CHP ship flying overhead there. Uh, Fontana PD on the ground there and a slew of of cherries and blueberries twinkling in the night as we make our way into East LA. You can see them holding on to about 50 miles per hour, about five to six car lengths behind the suspect, uh, not applying too much pressure, but definitely maintaining a strong uh, visual here as they continue this pursuit westbound on the 10 freeway. Just kind of going along with these Below below freeway speeds, I guess you'd call it, 45 miles per hour on the freeway. Uh, definitely uh, a slower clip.
trying to dial it in on scanner one, Brian. Um, not having much luck just yet. Yeah, I'm trying to lock it in. Scanner one, scanner one. Once again, Fontana PD in pursuit here in East LA, now approaching Atlantic Boulevard, westbound on the 10 freeway. A full pursuit contingent out of the Inland Empire making their way into the city of Los Angeles shortly here uh, as they continue to, uh, uh, you know, really continue with the show of force. I mean, again, 10 units out of Fontana pursuing this carjacking suspect, uh, not letting up at all, uh, not a very aggressive uh, stands here, but definitely a strong show of force as they continue at the speed that he is choosing to travel at. I would not call it a slow speed or a high speed pursuit, but definitely hovering between 40 and 50 miles per hour. We are unclear on the state of that driver's mind, but you can see he is continuing at about 45 westbound on the 10 freeway uh, coming up on Fremont Ave. You can, Brian, if you could push in. I don't think there was anybody in that passenger seat, but we might be able to get a better look uh, if we catch a good angle here. I believe the driver is in that vehicle by himself. Looks like that driver's side window is rolled down. Worth mentioning, mentioning again that we have seen at least one spike strip attempt. It was a failed spike, but it definitely implies that there's a good chance they may set up for another spike attempt if they have that opportunity. You do, you know, there's a couple of other cars out there on the road, but for the most part, they've created a pretty solid traffic break as you see other units trying to get up ahead of that suspect. Could be to close down some of those entrance ramps ahead of them, or he could be looking for an opportunity to spike that truck once again. Again, it's a red Toyota Tacoma, a wanted carjacking suspect out of Fontana, and Fontana PD with a team of officers continuing this pursuit as he drops it down to about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Southwest.
Another attempted spike there. You see him pulling it back as he lets those officers by. Uh, that truck again maneuvering around that spike strip. Uh, and the vehicle clearly still intact, at least from this angle. Uh, those tires and wheels are holding up just fine as he has evaded now at least two separate spike strip attempts. Yeah, good opportunity for a pit maneuver here. If he uh, continues at these speeds, you might see the rare pit attempt on the freeway uh, as he is going just above the threshold for a safe pit maneuver. Uh, again, no other motorists in the way here. They have lots of pavement to play with. And as I look out the window from Air 7 HD, it's smooth sailing all the way into downtown LA. Westbound traffic on the 10 freeway is uh, practically nil at this hour as we come up on the bottom of the eight o'clock hour. Again, about 10 Fontana PD units right behind the stolen Toyota Tacoma, traveling about 35 miles per hour, taking those officers from Fontana into LA County, now into East LA, coming up on Boyle Heights. Once again, if you're just joining us, Chris Christie up in Air 7 HD as we continue to follow this pursuit as the stolen Toyota Tacoma comes up on the East LA uh, interchange here, approaching the East the LA River. Uh, that's about 10 Fontana PD units that we count behind the suspect. Uh, half of those are just keeping the public back uh, near the back of the pack and uh, blocking traffic. Now there's some additional traffic entering the freeway with the suspect here up ahead at the uh, interchange here. But for the most part, traffic is very, very light. Lots of room to play with. And those officers giving this suspect quite a, ma uh, qu quite a good amount of uh, leeway here uh, as he continues this joyride into downtown LA at about 30 miles per hour, now dropping to 25. And uh, if they have enough room, you can't rule out a pit maneuver, but now as we merge with uh, additional traffic here, that becomes much less likely. So that pit opportunity may have come and gone. We've seen a couple of spike strip attempts uh, both of which this driver was able to maneuver around. And now you see him continuing this pursuit. Uh, did you catch that? Uh, sorry.
once again a wide open freeway for this suspect to either pull over or for these officers to uh, try to end this pursuit. Uh, but they seem to be giving him a pretty wide berth uh, as they make their way further into downtown LA here. Again, we're westbound on the, or now merging onto the 101 freeway. He's now northbound on the 101 freeway off of the 10 freeway as we approach Echo Park here in downtown LA. About 30 miles per hour, only a few other cars out there, but most of them are being held back by those Fontana PD units who have formed a solid traffic break, giving those lead units uh, a lot of options. And they've already, as I mentioned a couple times already, have uh, taken the opportunity to set up for the spike strips, but for some reason, uh, he has been able to uh, just swerve right around them pretty easily, as a matter of fact, uh, without any delay here. So he's continuing now at about 40 miles per hour, northbound 101 freeway, bypassing the downtown LA exits. Uh, and that's good news because that's always a decent opportunity for suspects to try and hide out in the tall buildings and plenty of parking garages in the downtown LA area. In the meantime, he is now coming up uh, on Silver Lake and then eventually into the East Hollywood area as we continue northbound on the 101 freeway. The suspect slowing down once again to about 25 miles per hour. Bystanders actually pulling over at the sound of those sirens coming up behind them. That is the correct thing to do. Uh, and you see just how light traffic is. The little traffic that's out there, by the way, in both directions, northbound and southbound on the 101 freeway. Traffic is free flowing, uh, giving this pursuit a lot of room and uh, giving the suspect lots of opportunity to just exhaust as much fuel as possible. Fontana PD with a number of units ready to execute a felony stop once he finally does give this up. Now, he has had uh, plenty of opportunity to pull over. No reason to think that he's gonna decide to do anything different here anytime soon. I suspect he will uh, run this truck into the ground or I should say uh, run that gas tank empty uh, for as long as he's got uh, maneuverability here, he's just going to keep on going. And uh, we'll see if they attempt any other tactics here. There could be other information at play that's preventing them from a pit maneuver. All we know is that the suspect behind the wheel here is wanted for Grand Theft Auto, apparently a wanted carjacking suspect who is refusing to pull over. Coming up on Rampart Boulevard, continuing this pursuit northbound on the 101 freeway. You see no other traffic out there, the uh, lone vehicle there pulling over. Again, those lights and sirens really uh, getting people's attention and allowing them to uh, continue this pursuit without any interference from any other motorist. There is traffic ahead of them here, but for the most part, they have managed to keep a good distance between the freeway traffic 
and the driver of this stolen vehicle. They are doing that by not only creating traffic breaks behind the chase, they are also blocking off entrance ramps where they can ahead of the suspect. And CHP is helping out with that occasionally as well. CHP also calling out the shots from their helicopter as Fontana PD continues to apply a little pressure here northbound on the 101 freeway. And uh, there you see another vehicle pulling over here. Southbound traffic, uh, relatively light, slowing down possibly uh, some onlookers there trying to get a glimpse of what's going on. Most likely they could tell that there's a pursuit coming up in their direction. As, uh, it is not the most uncommon sight here in Southern California. You certainly know it when you see it, especially this many black and whites with their lights and sirens blaring. Uh, now coming up on uh, Vermont Avenue, northbound 101 at Vermont Avenue, CHP's helicopter overhead, Fontana PD continuing this pursuit well outside of their jurisdiction, and they are eventually going to be faced with a decision here. Uh, they may even assist or ask for the assistance of LAPD if the suspect gets off the freeway. Now, if they stay on the freeway, there should be available CHP units to help out if needed, but for the most part, this is a Fontana PD pursuit. They are the lone agency involved here. You see the primary unit and a number of backup units who have chased this stolen uh, Toyota Tacoma uh, all the way out of Fontana and into the Hollywood area. As we continue at these moderate speeds, you have to wonder what other information Fontana PD may be dealing with. At about 35 to 40 miles per hour, they have options at their disposal, but they don't appear to be exhausting all of them. And that could be because they have information that is telling them that might, be not, might not be the wisest decision. Now, maybe there's a weapon in the vehicle. Uh, maybe there are other factors that are playing a role here. They have been aggressive enough to at least try a couple of separate spike strips uh, to no avail, but they have not even thought about a pit maneuver yet. And uh, for the most part, it would be fairly unorth unorthodox to see that on the freeway. But with a wide open freeway like this, with a firm traffic break behind the suspect and no other vehicles in the way, at these speeds, you might expect that pit maneuver order to be... Uh, given by the supervisor, but so far they have withheld that option and uh, are just following at a safe distance at, again, about 35 miles per hour with CHP following from above.
The suspect now cruising straight through Hollywood, fairly committed to the 101 freeway, and it certainly appears as though this chase is going to lead us straight into the San Fernando Valley. Now passing Franklin Avenue, northbound 101 freeway, the driver of a stolen Toyota Tacoma wanted for carjacking earlier this evening in Fontana. Fontana PD continuing this pursuit well outside of San Bernardino County and LA County and now into the San Fernando Valley as we continue at uh, manageable speeds here. Again, 30 to 40 miles per hour. The driver refusing to pull over and Fontana PD saying, you know what, we've got all the time in the world plenty of units with lots of gas. Why not just let this go as, uh, as long as this truck will take them and then they'll always have the option of calling in CHP if they need it. But for right now, they are the sole agency involved in this pursuit. Uh, CHP is helping out with their helicopter, but this is a Fontana PD pursuit at about 40 miles per hour now in the Coenga Pass cruising through the Hollywood Hills at a pretty moderate clip here. Again, as I look out the window, there's very, very little traffic up ahead of him on the 101 freeway here. Now there's some uh, merging traffic. Uh, that I'm not sure what exit or what entrance ramp that is there. Might have been Barham, but in any event, uh, there are some more motorists entering the freeway here. That's gonna, that's gonna give them some pause there's still only about three to four car lengths behind the suspect, but that traffic break is temporarily disrupted as they try and again form a solid line of cruisers behind this pursuit. You can see that officer in the rear of the pack swerving across lanes to indicate that those drivers behind this pursuit should slow down and stay back as this police pursuit continues up the 101 freeway. The chase now approaching Universal Studios, northbound 101 Freeway, Ventura Boulevard, just off the nose here. He will have the option of merging on to the 170 Freeway or committing to the 101. And it certainly appears as though he is committing, although I might have spoken a second too soon here. 
Looks like he has actually transferred over to the 170. Still on the 101, but he's showing signs of possibly exiting here. We'll see if he holds on to the 101. The next transition is going to be the 170 ramp, and it looks like he's slowing down, holding on to that number three lane there. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do, but he does have a decision point here in the next 30 seconds. And he's approaching the gore point here. That is going to divide the uh, 101 and the 170. And it looks like he is opting for the 101. So staying on the 101 freeway. That'll take him across the valley here as we head through Studio City. Again, if you're just joining us, a stolen Toyota Tacoma, a carjacking suspect behind the wheel, refusing to pull over, Fontana PD. Applying pressure here with a large contingent of officers ready to execute a felony stop after a major crime was committed in the city of Fontana. Again, details are, uh, are unclear, but again, this is a wanted carjacking suspect who is obviously uh, refusing to pull over and desperately wanted by the Fontana Police Department. And once again, as we uh, continue up the 101, uh, worth reiterating the, uh, the uh, obvious here, but traffic is extremely light, extremely light. And with all of those officers, the few cars that are in the area are well aware uh, of what's going on here and uh, know to slow down or stay away. Uh, that's giving them really a lot of room to play with here. It's a little surprising we haven't seen a pit maneuver yet, but there could be any number of good reasons why we haven't seen that yet. Any freeway pit maneuver would be highly unusual, but in this situation could make a lot of sense if the pursuit is traveling uh, under that 35 to 40 mile per hour threshold. Crossing Coldwater Canyon now as this pursuit heads through Sherman Oaks. Again, Fontana PD maintaining a visual there. Only a few car lengths behind this suspect. 
It is a stolen red Toyota Tacoma refusing to pull over as he continues traveling northbound along the 101 freeway, which is technically westbound through the San Fernando Valley here. And now you see that primary unit coming up right behind that pickup truck. Only uh, a little bit of space there between that lead unit and that carjacking suspect who has taken Fontana PD for quite the joyride this evening from the Inland Empire all the way through downtown LA into the San Fernando Valley, now approaching the 405. CHP now helping out once again with some additional traffic brakes ahead of the pursuit. There's also a traffic brake behind this chase. You see very little traffic on the northbound side of the 101 freeway. You're going to see a lot of traffic on the southbound side in just a second as CHP helps a disabled vehicle off the road. That is completely shut down the southbound side of the 101 freeway. So the southbound side just south of the 405 is all jammed up. Northbound traffic is completely shut down due to this police pursuit and things are getting tied up quickly here in the San Fernando Valley. If you're trying to travel along the 101 freeway, it's a slow crawl here in both directions as this chase continues up the 101 now approaching the 405 coming up on Van Nuys. There's that traffic jam on the opposite side of the road, not affecting this pursuit. Uh, wide open northbound side of the 101 freeway, giving this suspect a wide berth to maneuver around. And he's pretty much hugging that number two lane now. Uh, not really doing a lot of lane changes, no extreme speeds here. The driving fairly composed throughout the course of this pursuit, slowing down to well below freeway speeds though. At about 30 miles per hour, this is a sweet spot for uh, these uh, Fontana PD units to use that opportunity to potentially spin this vehicle out. And now you have to believe that there's a reason they are deliberately not taking that route. So they aren't employing a pit maneuver. However, they have made several attempts at a spike strip uh, uh at, 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 at deploying the spike strips, but both times, again, they have failed, and essentially the driver has just swerved right around those spike strips. So they've tried, but they have not managed to get the suspect off the road yet. They are applying pressure with a large team of officers, again, upwards of 8 to 10 officers in this pursuit. Westbound 101 freeway, northbound on the 101 now, getting off at Van Nuys Boulevard. Uh, that's the exit ramp there. Actually, that's going to be, that may actually be the 405. That's the 405 exit. Okay, so transitioning off of the 101 past Van Nuys Boulevard, now getting on to the northbound 
405, northbound 405 freeway as we head up towards uh, Van Nuys and uh, Fontana PD taking the exit with him there. We do understand that there is a possibility that the suspect is armed and that would uh, jive with what we're seeing here. That may very well be why they haven't uh, tried to pit this vehicle. If he's armed, that is a factor. And now you see he has made his way onto a busier 405 freeway. Fontana, Fontana PD gonna be in a position now where they have to recreate that traffic break and uh, keep those other motorists behind them. So they've done a great job so far at uh, managing this pursuit with the same team of officers. Uh, but now they're gonna have to form another traffic break here and try and uh, isolate this vehicle once again. That's been their tactic. Uh, and they have good reason for it because it does sound like there's a good possibility that the driver behind the wheel of the stolen pickup truck is potentially armed. And a little bit of a better shot through that front windshield. It does look, although I can't say for sure, it does look like the driver is indeed alone in this vehicle. Passenger seat appears empty. Still only doing about 35, 40 miles per hour. Fontana PD closing in on this suspect. Now, the California Highway Patrol uh, seems to be cruising up Sepulveda, kind of paralleling the 405 freeway to meet up with this pursuit a little bit further north and potentially either take over the pursuit or help Fontana PD out in some fashion. Suspect holding on to the number two lane there, approaching Van Owen, bypassing the exit there. Again, Fontana PD is the department that you're looking at in this shot here, but we're gonna keep a close eye on those black and whites as we may start to see those units replaced with California Highway Patrol units. Fontana PD probably only, only gonna take this to a, a certain point uh, before they are in a position where they're told to turn around. But uh, California Highway Patrol obviously has somewhat unlimited resources to continue this pursuit all the way up the uh, 405 here. And that may be what we are about to see. For now, that is Fontana PD, but we're gonna keep a close eye and see if those, uh, if those CHP units start to enter the frame here. That may happen here in just a couple of minutes.
That airship still up? The airship, CHP? Do you see him, Brian? I haven't seen him in a minute, and I don't see a night sun. And once again, Fontana PD with CHP in tow. They are monitoring this pursuit as Fontana applies pressure on a stolen uh, Toyota Tacoma out of the city of Fontana, northbound on the 405 freeway, just north of Sherman Way, approaching Roscoe Boulevard now at about 50 miles per hour, speeding up ever so slightly as they continue up uh, through the San Fernando Valley, going to be faced with some more decisions here uh, this carjacker is as he comes up on the 118 of freeway eventually and the uh, the uh, five split off the nose here. So he's got some, some uh, choices. Uh, I have a feeling he's going to continue straight up the uh, Newhall Pass, but we will see if that's what he does. You can see him still holding on to the two and three lanes. Number two and number three uh, is Fontana PD right there behind him with a pretty good traffic break in place. Only a couple of the cars out there in front of them. California Highway Patrol is, again, monitoring this pursuit, ready to get involved if they were put in a position or asked to join this pursuit. Right now, though, Fontana PD, still the lead agency here as we cruise up the 405 freeway for an extended joyride by this carjacker. There it is, California Highway Patrol with their airship up above, helping out with the call on the radio so the uh, ground units can monitor the pursuit up ahead. Uh, right now, you've got Valley units in position if needed. You've got New Hall units who are tracking this pursuit as well. And Fontana PD right behind the suspect here, uh, just continuing to follow at a safe distance. Does look like he's starting to run out of steam here, slowing down to about 20 miles per hour. Got a feeling he might slow down even more here as he crawls, he or she crawls, up the 405. All right, picking up a little more gas here at about 35 miles per hour. Again, the driver of this stolen pickup is said to be potentially armed, and that appears to be playing a major role in the tactics here by Fontana PD. Now, they have tried a couple of spikes, but we have seen plenty of opportunity for a pit maneuver without them taking it, and that is certainly 
indicative of the belief that there may be a gun inside that vehicle. Once again, the driver now committing to the five freeway, northbound five freeway at the split, continuing up through the New Hall Pass, it looks like, as he approaches Silmar here over the next several exits, and then into uh, the Santa Clarita Valley, it looks like we're going tonight. You can see Fontana PD uh, continuing this joy ride straight up the five uh, without hesitation here. They do have the luxury of uh, California Highway Patrol monitoring this pursuit, helping out where they can with occasional traffic breaks throughout this pursuit on and off. Also, they have their airship overhead who has been of great help at calling out the chase from above. And so a team effort here as they continue to follow this carjacker up the five freeway with the hopes of bringing him into custody peacefully at the end of this pursuit. Now, again, it's worth noting, we haven't seen anything too crazy uh, behind the wheel here. They had, the, you know, they've followed at a pretty uh, safe distance for quite a distance from Fontana all the way up into the north edge, northern edge of the San Fernando Valley. But uh, the driving has been composed, no extreme speeds, in fact, mostly uh, below the speed limit, and uh, not a lot of lane shifting. So... We will see if that continues. Of course, it could all change on a dime depending on the state of that driver. But for the most part, he appears, he or she appears to be driving at a relatively safe clip.
Right, committing to the five freeway. Committing to the five freeway, had the opportunity to get on the 14 freeway, but the suspect now committing to the northbound five freeway. So we will see just how far up through the Santa Clarita Valley this goes. But for the most part, uh, we are pretty much uh, just kind of following along with Fontana PD here, as is the California Highway Patrol. They are ready to help out if needed. They have not gotten the request yet to take over this pursuit. Fontana PD, very comfortable taking this up through Santa Clarita so far, so that's the way it's going to be. They have the assistance of CHP's helicopter, uh, so they have a good visual from above, but uh, right now those ground units standing back and standing by waiting for the request from Fontana PD. So. Still only going about 35 miles per hour. Uh, really haven't seen the behavior of this driver change much at all. The vehicle is intact and the speeds are consistent uh, with a, uh, a prolonged joyride that is probably gonna end with this vehicle running out of gas at some point. That is just a guess, but uh, an educated guess, if you will. Once again, if you're just joining us live on abc7.com and our 24-7 streaming channels, welcome if you're on YouTube or Facebook. Chris Christie up in Air 7 HD over a police pursuit here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Fontana police chasing this wanted carjacking suspect out of the San Bernardino area and through LA County, through downtown LA, up through Hollywood, into the San Fernando Valley, and now into Santa Clarita, where they are continuing this chase with the help of the California Highway Patrol. The driver behind the wheel, fairly composed, but believed to be armed. And so we have seen them treat this vehicle and this driver with kid glove care as they continue to keep the public at bay, forming a solid traffic break northbound along the five freeway now at speeds between 30 and 40 miles per hour. A relatively tame pursuit, but that could all change very quickly if that suspect is spooked or agitated or under the influence. We don't know how this is going to end, but he has had plenty of time to exhaust a lot of fuel from that gas tank, and hopefully it's as simple as potentially just slowing down to a crawl if he does run out of gas, but of course, for all we know, he could have a full tank, and we just don't have that information, but of course, Fontana PD has plenty of units right behind him, able to keep up, following at a safe distance. The California Highway Patrol with additional resources if needed. There have been several spike strip attempts, but so far, this vehicle remains intact. It is a stolen Toyota Tacoma. The driver believed to be alone inside this vehicle.
uh, strong potential. Uh, that would be California Highway Patrol setting up ahead of the suspect and potentially ready to lay out some spikes. So we'll see if that happens here in the next 60 seconds or so. Uh, the suspect, though, traveling at such a, uh, a slow speed that he, uh, even if he hits it, it's doubtful he will because he just is so easily, most likely, will so easily be able to swerve to the left and just drive around it at these speeds. It's almost difficult uh, to execute a good spike because it's just so easy for him to evade. Uh, you have a good opportunity in the sense that the freeway's wide open, but uh, it's, uh, it's just as easy to drive around it unless you're able to really stretch it out. And we'll see if they can deploy that spike strip here as the suspect, ah, there it is, there it is. There's the spike and that may very well have been effective. We will see. He didn't see it coming and I didn't see it coming. I thought it was gonna come from the right and instead there was an officer, a CHP officer in position on the driver's left-hand side, threw it right out and we will see them put the lights on those wheels slowing him down he's slowing down we'll see if those tires are impacted let's push all the way in there brian and we'll get a better glimpse uh as uh, it looks looks like the vehicle is uh behaving normally still the wheels and the tires appear intact but keep in mind it takes a little bit of time usually for those tires to slowly deflate but I don't see any impact on this vehicle so far he definitely ran over the spike strip the issue becomes were there spikes inserted injected into those tires or was he somehow able to roll over that spike strip without damaging the vehicle? It certainly appears as though this vehicle is traveling nominally. The wheels are behaving just fine at this point. He doesn't appear to be having any kind of a steering issue, but he definitely made contact with a perfectly executed spike strip attempt there. That would be at least number three that we have seen, uh, but he wasn't able to swerve around this one. It was tossed out at the last second And we continue, the chase continues at about 50 miles per hour, northbound five freeway here in Valencia. Another spike strip attempt there and we'll see if that has an effect. He ran right over his second spike in as many minutes, and this one hopefully will do the trick here. We will see, so far this Toyota Tacoma has proven to be very durable, and uh, again, just judging from the driver's side of the vehicle, the tires at this point appear to be slowly deflating, or at least that front left tire. That driver's side Front tire is running low, and this will likely force him to slow down. Now at about 30 miles per hour, there goes that front left tire. Now down to a crawl as the vehicle comes to a complete stop on the number three lane there. Here comes the driver's hands, or at least one hand, apparent out the window. Let's see if he complies here. Fontana PD instructing the driver out of the vehicle, hands out the window, the door popped open, the driver stepping out of the vehicle, and he is now complying with these officers, the canine ready to go if needed. But you can see him now, hands spread, legs spread, and he is now slowly following those commands, hands behind the head, and they will take the suspect into custody in the next 
few seconds, but it does look like the vehicle was disabled by that spike strip. If the first one didn't do it, the second one surely did. A very effective spike, finally bringing this pursuit to an end. The pickup truck coming to a stop on the northbound 5 freeway at Magic Mountain Parkway. The driver now about to be taken into custody. This is a wanted carjacker who was believed to be armed. We don't know uh, whether the vehicle or whether the weapon is still in the vehicle, whether he is armed still or what the deal is. He is now turning. Oh, oh, oh! They deployed the dog. He turned around. He turned around, took his hands down. The dog has been let go on the suspect. And now this has uh, come to a, uh, uh, wow. They have tackled him to the ground. A number of officers after he turned around, not sure if there was a language barrier there or what, but for some reason, he took his hands down, turned around, the dog was deployed. And now they're going to have to call for an ambulance because the suspect was clearly taken down by the dog, tackled to the ground by those officers, and something uh, went sideways there. We will see the disposition of that suspect once they bring him up here. But uh, boy, oh boy. You didn't really see that coming. He certainly appeared to be obeying the commands. They've given the code for. The vehicle is clear. Suspect on the ground. And at some point, I don't know if you're able to, Brian. I'd love to see a replay. I don't know if you can, but if you can, we'll replay it and see what happened there that provoked that canine officer to deploy the dog on that suspect. Show me the suspect real quick if you can. Yep. Is he still on the ground there? I can't tell. Yeah, he's up against the car, okay. Suspect now up on two feet. Oh, the truck's rolling away. The truck just, the truck is now rolling away There must be an officer. There must be an officer behind the wheel there. Okay, they're pulling the truck off the road. I did not see the officer get in there, but it, the truck just started rolling down there, and he's now pulling over to get off the freeway here. But still, the northbound side of the five freeway remains shut down as they attend to that suspect, and they will likely have to call for an ambulance here after that canine dog was uh, let loose on that carjacking suspect. Well, they're now going to do their best to take all of this off the freeway, the vehicle and the suspect. Likely an ambulance waiting at the, at the exit. Uh, but they're going to do what they can, I guess, to reopen the freeway. No really good reason to keep the freeway shut down. But uh, it does look like they're going to get off the freeway here. And we'll see uh, just how injured that suspect might be. Uh, in just a second here. We're also going to try and get a, a replay of this uh, odd ending as that suspect who was clearly attempting to comply took his hand off his head and turned around for a split second provoking Fontana PD to let the fur missile loose on that suspect.
Sure. All right, one more time, rewind it, if you can. Let's go ahead and rewind it just a second there. So he's got his hands up here. He turns around, that is not what you wanna see there. He turns around and that's when they let the dog loose. He takes his hands off his head like, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? He must have been trying to communicate. Hands in the air though, the hands in the air, and they just let the dog loose on his leg, eventually bringing the suspect down. Uh, this one will be uh, up for review for sure. Uh, it is a, 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 an odd thing to see the dog let loose on a suspect with his hands up in the air like that. Certainly appeared as though he was trying to comply uh, but, uh, yeah, that is, uh, uh, boy, that's going to be a questionable one for those supervisors. Thank you, sir. officers now pulling into a parking lot as again I assume they will wait for an ambulance here the uh, suspects vehicle now pulled off of the freeway the five freeway now reopened at Magic Mountain Parkway and that will do it for our coverage here in Air 7 HD for our entire team up here in Air 7 I'm Chris Christie reporting live from Air 7 here in Santa Clarita we will see you at 11 o'clock